Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Relay for Rot. Now I'm here, uh, this is Slaughter247, and that is me. Okay guys, so I am on the, my redstone map on Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition, as you can see here. I'll scroll down a little bit, go to my friends list, just to make sure that you guys understand that this is Xbox, because I get a few people saying this is PC, yada yada yada. Anyways, this is Xbox, and there is my friend Bros. He's in the game, but I left the party, he doesn't know about that. I'm making a video, he doesn't know, haha, you suck. Redstone. Anyways... <laughs> Um, this is not, um, not the main point of the video, as you can see, this is my redstone computer, I'm working on it, just wanted to show you my progress, haven't worked on it in a while, um, but it's pretty much, basically, there will be a key, or a pressure plate associated with the letter in the alphabet, and when you step on it, it'll go ahead, send up a signal, then produce that letter on there, I have the seven, uh, actually, it's, I think it's a 16 segment, decoder up there that sends it there. If you want me to do a tutorial on how to build that, then I can go ahead, just I need to get enough people that want me to, then go ahead and tell me to do that. Anyways, this is where we're focused today. Sorry it's raining, but you know, Minecraft, nowhere to change the weather. We'll just try to stay up above the uh, rain ground, and I'll turn down the volume for the um, map a little bit. So anyways, this is a block updater, okay guys? So if you can see this, this is something really cool. It was found by a few people actually. So Seth Bling actually found the uh, original one on PC, and then another, a few other people, including uh, Broadbent45, he went ahead and um, actually converted it over to Xbox. Now this is a block updater. Um, so it works with pistons and redstone basically. So when it detects any single like block update, or a new uh, feature with the block, it will go ahead and uh, send off a redstone signal. This can be anything ranging from stepping on or hitting a redstone ore. Let me fly up here so that's a little bit quieter. Uh, from hitting a redstone ore or placing a block, activating a furnace, and not opening a chest. Chests are special. I'm still working on that, but you know, anything like that, putting something in the furnace. So here's what it does. So say I go ahead, I place, you know, a piece of sandstone. I'm just using sandstone because I like sandstone, but if you use anything, you place it right on the piston, boom. It goes ahead, knocks that off, and then, you know, can uh, update, it updates the block, so it pushes the piston up, and like this. So with the sandstone on top here, it singles it out. So what I had is, I just set it up a little bit, so um, I had a redstone signal here, and as soon as that block was updated, it pushed this up, stuck this here, so it broke the redstone on top of it, went over here and then uh, untrapped this so the signal could be, you know, used. This is just one example of a way that you could use this type of block updating technology. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and put that back. Uh, now let me, let's build it, okay? Okay guys, so we're back here and we're going to build it. Now you can build this wherever you want and however high you want. Now this is a way that works on Xbox and I can show you a few ways actually that work on Xbox. So what you want to do is you want to get that, okay, the uh, sticky piston. And it's important that you get a sticky piston. Then you want to go ahead and you also want to get a piece of glowstone. Glowstone is very important because it cannot actually uh, allow the flow and power of redstone. So once you do that, you want to bring two out right there. You want to get one lever. You can place it any which way. It doesn't really matter. Then you want to get a single redstone repeater and place it like so. After that, you want to just take a piece of sand. Over here, I used a piece of sandstone. I'll explain that in a little bit. Then when you go ahead and you need to turn this uh, on so the the redstone repeater is turned on, and then when you place a piece of block, it goes ahead and updates. Now as you can see, unlike that one, this one goes ahead and the block doesn't stay up in the air, it stays still. Sometimes it will glitch out and the, this block here, the uh, glowstone block will stay up here and not being pulled down by the uh, piston, sticky piston, that's just because of uh, how glitchy Xbox is. But the reason is the sand, okay? With that block over there, the sand, ha uh, that has like physics of no gravity. This actually has gravity physics. So if you go ahead and you power this, it gets pushed up, but then since this block, the glowstone gets pulled down, this thing falls down with it, okay? So that happens whenever, you know, you break, uh, put a block, destroy a block, so it falls down with it, and then cuts out the power. So when you press this, it creates a power, it creates redstone power, to the piston which pushes this block up to this level. This tries to create a circuit, the circuit isn't there since the redstone power or the power that's powering this only lasts for a second while you activate it. Uh, it the power is no longer there so it drops back down and depowers and this sand uh, falls back down because you know it's sand. <laughs> so then we go ahead so you can see just like that but say I switch this over to a piece of sandstone when I do that 
stays floating because you know the sand floats and that's how I could even use sandstone for this scenario but I choose to you know use any block you can use any block just to show you I will go ahead and use some stone brick instead of sandstone here basically you got to move any use any material that moves see it goes like that you can do that um, so any anyone that really moves sandstone is really good because it's always reliable but you know I thought you guys would really enjoy this because there's a really cool thing that incorporates um, a new idea to Minecraft Xbox Redstone which is really cool you'll be seeing this in a few of my adventure maps which is really epic um, one thing that I used something that would have really helped is uh, the cake defenders map that I made if you do not know where that is there's a link in the description down below to go watch that video you guys can see all the redstone that went into that map so basically there you guys have it uh, thanks very much for watching Please give credit to uh, the guy that I said at the very beginning, who I'm not going to repeat his name now because I've already got it, <laughs> and uh, Seth Bling. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Look for more of my tutorials and stuff. Again, if you want me to do the uh, Redstone computer, then go ahead and click a like, and also tell me in the comments below so I will know to do that. If I get enough people to tell me, I will painstakingly make a tutorial for you guys so you guys can make your own. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys later. Bye.